Okay, so now that we have our leads all soldered into uh, the web key, we can kind of take a look at what's going on on the EEPROM uh, using uh, logic. So if we look uh, and zoom in on one particular uh, set of data that's being set across, you see on channel 2 we have this kind of regular uh, pattern happening, so that's going to indicate our clock, and then on channel 1 we have this more dispersed thing, so that could be our actual data. So we'll add a quick uh, I2C analyzer within logic, so SDA is on channel 1, SCL is on channel 2, um, and then we'll also make sure that we display it using ASCII and HEX so that we can interpret this data pretty easily. So let's go all the way back to the very start of the channel, so we'll head over to the first uh, falling edge, and right above uh, the data line, we can see the I2C analyzer uh, interpreting uh, what the data is that's being sent across. So first we have a write, and then an acknowledgment, um, and then followed by that we'll have a read, uh, and then the read will be uh, this 0xd3. Um, and then the next uh, we'll have some a little more data that's being transferred across, and so we'll have this uh, b9. Um, and then we actually start seeing the URL. So uh, here's our W, our next W, and then another W, surprise, uh, period, and then we'll start seeing found stone. Uh, there's the F there, O, and then U-N-D, S-T-O-N-E. Um, so that's uh, the actual data that's being transmitted over the EEPROM's uh, I2C bus. Um, and we get an idea of kind of how the microcontroller on the web key is pulling data out of that EEPROM and we can actually see it. Uh, so that's pretty cool. There you go.